I'm Mike Huckman at the Bio Buzz Center, where it's a pleasure to welcome Jill Gilbert, who is the producer of the Digital Health Summit, which is put on by a company called Living in Digital Times. Jill, thanks for being here at the Bio Buzz Center. Thanks for having me. So you guys not only produce the Winter Digital Health Summit, which right. is done at the huge Consumer Electronics Show, but here you've done the summer one for the very first time, first time. tied up with Bio. Why did it make sense to do that? Well, for so many reasons, but I'll give you a couple key reasons, and that is the pharma industry and the biotech industry are, are, are in need of a lot of technology solutions to kind of help move their initiatives forward. So there have been an incredible amount of developments in that area, everything from digital therapeutics, diagnostics, artificial intelligence that is helping people um, adhere to their medications more. So there, there's a lot of different things that are starting to converge with the area. And so for us, it's all about exposing these companies to each other to collaborate and move the healthcare industry forward. These days when the lay public hears about digital health, I think they primarily think of Dr. Google, if you will, um, maybe FaceTiming with their physician or their nurse mm -hmm. practitioner. Uh, perhaps a wearable, yeah. and maybe even an insightable, mm -hmm. um, but you say it's much more than that. Oh, so much more than that. So, you know, we do, t wearables is, is obviously a hot topic, but what we're finding is that there are condition-specific wearables, so it's not your activity tracker we're talking about anymore. We're talking about pain management wearables. We're also talking about enterprise wearables, like a Google Glass that is helping surgeons stay focused on what they need to while they're performing surgery rather than looking all around the room and measuring biometrics and things like that, they're getting that information. So those are just two examples. Uh, I, you're also seeing very, very uh, significant developments in cognitive learning. Mm. And we were really fortunate to have the best of the best, IBM Watson Health, to come talk about clinical trials. So artificial intelligence is now being used to, be, uh, to help smart matching, basically. So the patient to the trial, and it's much more accurate and fast. So, and, and it's cutting literally weeks off of that process, that screening process, right? And that matching I, and process. And I would, I would, I would say even longer. And the other things are, or sorry, shorter amount of time, of mm -hmm. course. But I think that uh, what it's done is also creating much more accurate matching. And there are so many times that, so that the consumer looks for the fast match, so that you get the right patient into the right clinical right study. Mm -hmm. So it obviously benefits the pharmaceutical industry and at the same time benefits the patients. And there's so much demand for how do I get involved with a study? So this will be, uh, I think there's going to be big developments in that area as well. What else is new and next? New and next. Well, mental health was a big hot topic this year. It's been one of those taboo topics, uh, even in our personal lives. So I really think that we'll start to see, uh, we, we actually had some of the leaders in mental health come talk. We had people talking about um, how there are applications that are helping people keep to their medication adherence. And for we're not compliance. just talking, yeah, for compliance. And we're not, and like I said, we're not just talking about, you know, an alarm going off anymore. These are, these are smart things. Takes that are a happening. picture of the pill, right? Takes a picture of the pill and matches it. And um, paratherapeutics is doing some amazing things. And honestly, uh, the mental health area, aside from just video telemedicine and having access, uh, I think we're, we're going to see a lot of development in that area as well. And Jill, interestingly, as we're standing here, there is a brand new study that's been published in a peer-reviewed medical journal okay. that was done by scientists at Microsoft, where they looked back at people's search history on the internet and were able to see predictive searches that we, they would then unfortunately progress to pancreatic cancer because they were searching for their symptoms. What does a study like that tell you about the future and the potential of digital health? Wow, I mean, that's, that is amazing, because what, what, what then you're, the internet is getting very, very smart then, because now they're using things that are, we're extremely passive about. We're searching. Because I, I feel this, or I, I feel that. I have a pain in my knee. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, that's an indicator, and so the, for them to be able to kind of look back on that, we're getting into a prevention world. But, That's exciting. But is it a little big brotherish though, little, too? But I think that there's some there there, are, you know, privacy is going to forever be a hot topic in healthcare. And as much as we want, we don't want Big Brother, do we? Yeah. 
That's a good question. We're finishing every interview at the BioBus Center this year, focusing on the theme of the meeting, which is simply one word, and that is imagine. So Jill, I'd like you to fill in the blank, please. Imagine what? Well, being the daughter of an oncologist, I believe in prevention. And imagine a world where we'd get these sort of tell signs that we can we, that we are empowered to take control of our health outcomes. So I think, I think that's, that's, something that's, nice a, that's to a imagine. pretty nice thing to imagine. I mean, ultimately it's our own ownership. So, um, but if we actually got the, you know, the looking glass view of that. How great that would be. That, that'd be pretty powerful. Yeah. Jill Gilbert, the producer of the Digital Health Summit with Living in Digital Times, Fight on. Fight on. And thank you for joining us here at the BioBus Center.